These are Evolution's newest chop saws. It's their Evo Max lineup, and they've been engineered to give maximum blade life with any blade that you put on them. But they also came out with some new metal cutting blades for steel and also for aluminum that uh, really take blade life to a whole new level. So we're gonna dive into all that in this video, and we'll also look at the details of each of these two models so you know which one would be the best fit for you. Evolution has a long history of making the best saws in this category, and I've been using them for many years, long before I ever partnered with them on anything on the channel, and I've been really impressed with their quality, and these new Evo Max saws really take that to a new level. The Evo Max saws have their new intelligent motor. It has electronic controls to optimize the blade speed to give you the maximum life out of whatever blade you have on here. So no matter what blades you're using, it'll extend their life by 30%. Now that's a nice clean cut. Cool to the touch after it's done. No burrs hanging off of there to clean up. Now as far as blades go, both of these saws come standard with Evolution's new steel cutting blades. They have new blades for steel and aluminum. They're really engineered to just give maximum life. This is a Japanese made 80 tooth ceramic carbide blade and it has some anti-vibration technology. So there's little slots that are cut in a special shape to keep vibration to a minimum. And I could really feel between the intelligent motor and that blade that there was basically no vibration in the handle as I was cutting with it. But putting that all together, these have been independently tested to make over 3,500 cuts through four inch diameter, one eighth inch steel tubing, or quarter inch thick by four inch wide steel flat bar. I'm glad I didn't have to do that test. And then you can put that together with the intelligent motor to get just a massive amount of life out of these blades. Now these blades are also compatible with other Evolution saws. So if you have a different one, you can purchase these and add it on. So one of the features I'm most excited about is a light that they put right up here above the blade. So when you pull the trigger just a little bit, a light comes on and it shines past the blade and it makes that shadow mark right there so that you can line your cut up exactly where you want it. And that's going to be really convenient so you don't have to actually drop your blade down. And it's hard when you're looking from one side to see where the other side is going to hit under the motor. But with this, you can just line it right up and make your cut. The new Evo Max motors have a soft start on them, so it accelerates a little more gently when you first pull the trigger. This makes it more comfortable to use, and it'll also make the motor components last longer. And if you use it with circuit breakers that tend to trip easily, that's going to be less likely to happen because it's not going to draw as much amperage out of the wall on startup. And it also has an electronic brake, so with a large blade, a heavy-duty motor, and all this gearing, a typical saw would spin for quite a while after you finish your cut. This one with the electronic brake will slow down in less than three seconds. Let me start and stop the motor a few times so you can hear this in action. Cut quality is really important to me, so let's go ahead and cut a variety of different materials and take a look at the cut surface and see if we get a nice smooth cut, what kind of burrs we end up with and how accurate it is. Here's some quarter inch thick angle iron. One of the things I noticed as I was cutting with the new Ceramet carbide blades is a little bit more sparking, but the material is still cool to the touch after I finished. It's a really clean cut and you're going to get that extremely long blade life. If we check it for square, I mean, it is just right on the money there. Now I'm going to try cutting something a little bit thinner. This is some 16 gauge wall, two inch tubing. Now when you're cutting square tubing straight, it comes with this little adapter right here that slides on so that you can prop it up like this. And that is uh, the ideal way to cut this tubing for blade life. So let's give this a try.
Once again, cool to the touch right after, no burrs on it, and such a nice smooth surface. I mean, it's almost like a machined surface there on the edge. So easy to fabricate with. Now I'm gonna swing this around to make a 45 degree miter. I'm just using the gauge right on the saw, and I'm going to make a miter cut on this quarter inch thick wall square tubing, uh, just like that. Now let's take a look at that top surface. When it's cutting diagonally through that top face, that's a lot of material that would wanna make that blade deform. But if we look right here, it is completely flat. And when we check the angle right there, it is pretty good too. I could touch it right after, no burrs on there to remove before I fabricate with it. That's pretty impressive. I'm gonna try some quarter inch thick by six inch wide flat bar. Once again, I got a nice clean cut on it, basically no burr on there. And one thing I'm looking for when I cut down through vertically is whether that blade will wander off like my abrasive saw is always used to do. And not at all. Nice and straight all the way down. The last material is some four inch square tubing with one eighth wall just set in the flat way. little burr right here just pull right off and you're smooth ready to weld up now all of these features are on both of the Evo Max saws but let's dive into the details of the two different models so let's start off by looking at the s14 model here now the cutting performance between the two models is really equivalent with all those Evo Max features baked into both of them um, but this particular model has a stamped steel base. So this is the base itself and it has the clamp integrated right into it. Now it has a quick release nut here. So once you relieve tension, you can flip that back, slide the clamp back, and then you can flip it forward, slide it in place and just tighten it down. So it's fast to change material. The fence right here has a quick release nut and if you need to change positions of it you can actually lift it and rotate like that so it's well engineered and you can rotate it around to any angle between zero and 45 degrees now you can't reach every angle from this fence position so there's actually three different fence positions so to change the position of the fence you just remove this handle all the way from the saw right here and then you have an Allen screw right there to remove. And they have this Allen wrench that fits everything from changing your blades to the fence. And it fits right there in that grommet. This is really nice for someone who uh, spends a lot of time looking for their tools they set down. And you don't have to mess with that. It's just good engineering. So you remove this screw right here. And this is a nice heavy duty cast fence, by the way. You can then install it into any of these three positions. So here you might put it in this rearmost position, or if you're going to be cutting at 45 degrees, you'll need to move it forward to position two or three to be able to reach those. Now back here on the saw is the lock to keep it in the lower position for transport and things like that. So it's a nice pin. There's not some kind of chain you have to mess with. It just engages really solid like that. Now, as far as chip control goes, this S14 has a deflector here, so they don't all fly out the back. It'll deflect those chips downward. And it also has 
this little guard right here to stop the chips, but they'll still flow down through those slots. Replacing the blades really easy on both of these saws. It's basically the same. You just loosen this right here and that guard will slide up. Then that same Allen wrench fits right in your blade. And there's a spindle lock button on the other side to keep the blade from rotating while you loosen it and tighten it back down. The S15 has a larger shroud on it, so it can accommodate a 15 inch blade. Still comes standard with the 14 inch Evo Max blade. It also has a cast aluminum base instead of the stamped steel. So this is the cast aluminum base on the S15 and similar to the S14, it has the clamp integrated into it. Um, with this quick release nut right here so you can slide it forward and back and easily lock your material you have a similar fence right here that can slide around however this one has a locking pin that locking pin engages with holes in the base to be able to hit your zero or 45 degrees uh, much more quickly you can also lift and twist to pick it up out of the way and there's still the degree indicator right here to be able to hit any uh, degree increment in between that zero and 45. Now, once again, there are three uh, locations for this fence to sit. And just like the S14, there's integrated storage for the Allen wrench. And you have the similar cast fence in the three different positions for it to sit here on this nice cast base. Once again, there's a similar pin to lock it in the lower position for transport and storage. And for chip control, there's this cast deflector right here that deflects the chips rather than out the back down into a tray that sits underneath this whole slot. Same Allen wrench will release the tray. You can slide it out and empty your chips. The cast base also has these openings in the front and back for your hands so you can grab it and pick it up from underneath to carry it. Now after trying these for a few days, I gotta tell you I'm impressed. The shadow line is really convenient for lining up your material and getting the cut right where you need it. Between the intelligent motor and the blade, it has next to no vibration coming through the handle. And I'm looking forward to that really long blade life and the cuts when you're done are really clean, burr free, and they're cool to the touch so you can use them right away. If you're interested in checking out any of these Evo Max products, there's a link in the description below to their website and you can see the specs and details on all of them. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.